All right, so Venia versus the Buzz, the run back. We had a game five situation against both of these players, and Venia was able to come out on top in winner semifinals. So we are having the run back here in loser's finals. We'll see if the Buzz will get his uh, shot at Tweak or if Venia will get his run back against Tweak in grand finals. Oh, but it's not going to be here on Town and City at the very least. And there goes Olmo once again. And once more for the culture. <laughs> there he All goes. Right, so I, I wonder what the stage pick was, what the stage strike was. So uh, how often does this happen? Not too often, but when it does. When it does. Venia usually does well. Okay. He has a pretty solid idea of how he needs to fight both Rosalina and Olimar and Hero for what it's worth, but we're not seeing Hero. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think the Buzz put that Hero away yeah, quite some time ago. Uh, Hero definitely had his his time for the Buzz to understand the character and then went away once the uh, the studying was complete. Yeah, This should be an all Greninja, all Olimar set. I don't see it happening any other way. But I think it's just a matter of clashing play styles. Like, Venia does such a good job of responding to defensive play styles, and he has such a good idea of playing very mobile, but in turn defensively when it's needed. Right, and I, I feel like that's that's like definitely Venia and just Venia really taking advantage of some of the tools that Greninja has because shielding against Greninja just isn't the strongest thing to do, right? I mean, when Greninja is hitting on that shield with down tilt, dash attack, neutral air, you know, there, there's so many block strings to follow. It can be pretty tricky to deal with Greninja shield pressure. So just like on that offensive, just being like having that offensive power, Venia definitely like makes makes great value of it. On top of that, it's a matchup that forces the Buzz to really give in to the fact that he's he is the peak of a mobile fortress, not just with Omar, but in general his play style. But Venia denies a lot of space and a lot of opportunity for the Buzz to like take his time to set up. Like any of this Pikmin management, we're seeing it's on the fly. Like, even there was a suboptimal situation. Even though DeBuzz is breaking first blood for Loser's Finals, it was with just a sole blue Pikmin. Yeah, yeah, just a really good hard read onto the shield there. The purple will be sacrificed for the recovery, and up we go. And just like that, DeBuzz does not have very many options. Gets sent so high, kind of, you can do one aerial, and then you go into free fall, right? Just one aerial? Yes. Yeah. So right there, gonna burn that aerial. And just like that, I, I really like how Venia is ready to edge guard with various different tools, right? We see, we saw the back air, we see the hydro pump as well, even the counter in yeah. certain matchups. And we even saw it try to come out again, but this time to buzz, he used order call, immediately pulled his Pikmin off of Venia, and I think that's super important. Another grab coming out from Venia, up throw, try to get the up air, tries to catch the landing, but great drift coming out from the buzz. Okay, there's the forward air. Buzz has the purple next on the lineup, and look at all this damage latches on. Are we going to see a substitute? Yes, we are. But this time, Buzz sitting in favor of the situation, going to be able to have time to shield and run away. He does have to be careful of that, though, especially as Venia manages to threaten his shield. It's so crazy that 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 up smash hit surprisingly far behind the Buzz as well. So that was very good, like catching him off guard to get that stock. Really, really good stuff from the Buzz. Yeah, altering the positioning of the Pikmin when you go for your smash attacks is really peculiar, but DeBuzz has shown a lot of proficiency for it in this tournament in particular. I haven't seen him as clean with it in others as he is tonight. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's see if DeBuzz, oh, gets the jab lock, and this dot damage is also ticking away. It's not a white Pikmin, but still, it, it adds up. And man, just like that, 74%, man. The buzz is so good at these low percent strings, especially when you get something latched on, and look at the double purples clocking in and doing work. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Maybe an up smash would have done it, but Venia not pulling the trigger, going for the forward air. Going to get the up air off the top, though. Cute. It's leaving Ven Venia on basically a last hit situation here. Yeah, this is, this is rough. At least there's no purples online right now. Let's see if Venia can get some kind of opening and just pressure him to the point where, like, maybe one, maybe he has to deal with no purples or uh, one purple. Yeah, I think that, Oh, yeah, he's just running up smash. Okay. You know what? Everyone thinks the blue's for the grab, but sometimes you can rip he the up smash, too. He protect and attack. <laughs> Although I, I like how the Buzz didn't toss any Pikmin. Like, yes, purple would have been phenomenal in that situation, but we right. already had Greninja at kill percentage. And I think right. making sure that no matter what, he had the length for that grab. Right. Because right. as a note, Pikmin, the grab range of their tether is dependent on their Pikmin. Correct. So 
if he needed to go for that grab, having all of them on board to make sure Blue got maximum effectiveness would have been the best option. Oh, yeah, for sure. And just, I mean, it's it's crazy because even in the winner's semi set, the buzz was the one that took game one, right? So I believe so. Very similar start here. Um, see if the buzz can possibly uh, bring this into a 2-0 into his favor. But I know, I know, at least for me, when I'm watching, I always like to see the bounce back and forth, right? I always root for a game five, a game ten, whatever the last possible thing is in anything. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. a big fan of it because it forces everything out of a player. Like, you put all that pressure on them. You force them to adapt. Like, especially with these two guys. Like, we know that DeBuzz can get aggressive even though he's known for his defensive play. And we know that Venia can really hold the line and play it passively if necessary despite being known as an aggressive player. Double Nair is so hype. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know if it's like real in those situations, but it's hype. Like, he's just doing everything he can to make sure he's extending these combos and getting that damage on. Oh man, what a read from the Buzz. Just knew he was going to show pressure into the roll. And man, it just looks like the Buzz has such a good feel for the second set. Yeah, he, he definitely must have taken the time in between sets oh. to figure out what he needs. And just the way that he's positioning himself and armoring through what moves Venia can throw out is just beautiful. Yo, look how deep he is out for this. All right. And he took so much damage because the white Pikmin was ticking away the entire time. The back air, not going to do it just yet. There's no jump, though. This should be a layup here. Oh, he bounced oh, off the ledge. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. He gets a grab at least. Oh, gets the jump call out as well. Venny is so good at that. Like, knowing exactly when you're just scared of the fair, so you want to go for a jump, and he's just like, oh, yeah, you're going to jump right here, and you're going to catch these legs. Yeah, he's been conditioning people for it pretty aggressively in this top eight, and it's working out beautifully for him. Oh, just gets hit by the new chair, but Venia coming in. Venia definitely has uh, quite the hill to climb, but if anyone can do it, I definitely believe that Venia can. Gets the tech, still taking some damage, but gets one of the hits here, another grab. Let's see, back there to establish the ledge play. Let's see what he can do with it. And so he's just gonna reset the situation. Platforms are leaving. And Vinny's going to take it as an opportunity to position himself differently against the Buzz. He's going to zip his way right back onto the ledge. That down to then gets the roll. Okay, really good DI coming out from the Buzz. Uh, just DIing that straight out. Not going to give Vinny any kind of confirm off of it. Vinny really wants this Nair into some kind of kill confirm here. But the Buzz is just not giving it to him. He's forcing him to take these risky grabs. Again. He's, he's just not in position. Yeah. Great DI once again coming out from the buzz, and he also still has that whistle mix up as well. Yeah, using order call to get through a ton of Venia's aggression has worked out beautifully for the buzz. We didn't really see a lot of it in their first set on the yeah. winner's side, so to see the buzz leverage it so heavily, very impressive adaptation. I like the stall with the water shuriken as well to mix up some of these falling aerial options. Of course, Greninja, a character that gets a lot of things start off that falling there usually um, can lead into the world for this character. Trying to get something started, but man, and see, we see so much grab coming out from Venia because the buzz is conditioning with the shield, but the grab is so risky. It's so scary to go for a Greninja grab at 126. Additionally, Greninja doesn't really get a lot off of grab unless we're at the ledge, and even at that, it's at higher percentages. Yeah, and especially if you're going to play the slower game as well, the buzz is going to get these purples in his lineup. It's, it's, it's a very tough position to be in as Venia. You know what I just realized is that Blue Pikmin does not care for anything that Venia throws out. All of the water attributed moves that Venia has, which is like a solid 70% of Greninja's kit. Yeah. Blue just goes through. Damn. I think this might be the, the first top eight where I've seen every gimmick of the Pikmin come into play in some <laughs> relevant fashion. All the elemental gimmicks, right? Like the, the lightning on the yellow Pikmin. Like the... it's the cute things in the game that you don't really expect to become relevant. And every once in a blue moon in competitive play, it's like, oh, that happened because of this thing. Right, right. But no, Olimar's really taking out all the stops to show off is uh, more fun side. Yeah, and, and I mean, usually yellow, you, red is usually the least important one, um, just because yellow is good for like comboing at early percents, but blue is pretty relevant, like in terms of late game, because yeah. it's the kill throw one, right? So the fact that it's hard for Venya to kill the blue ones particularly is, that kind of sucks. Yeah. And I think that's why we're seeing the buzz leverage his shielding a lot uh, more as well. Like, 
There's not a lot of counterplay for the blue Pikmin as long as he's got one in play. Oh, if you're Almar, you have to angle your shield just because. And you know what's weird? I honestly don't know if that's an intentional nerf. Like, I, I don't know if it's a mistake to make Almar's shield small because Pichu's shield is small. Right. So I, I don't know if, like, Nintendo just wants smaller characters to have, like, worse shields. I don't know. Just because they're small. You know what I mean? Like, Almar oh, you're small, so you're, you're, like, harder to hit. So you shouldn't have, like, a broken shield or, like, a standard, quote-unquote, shield. Almar is the Bethesda character of this game. I can't tell if it's a feature or a bug half the time. He just works. <laughs> you're right. Because <laughs> even in the beginning, there was a bunch of bugs with Olimar Pikmin, right? Yeah, he would get, like... You'd be able to freeze the game by like putting him by throwing a Pikmin onto Corrin or something. <laughs> or so I, know I saw one with Sonic. Yeah, Sonic's another one. I think actually Utopian Ray found that here. That's crazy. Um, Is I know there's bracket? something. Was it in bracket? No, I think oh, it was just friendlies. Hype. There's a thing that Pikmin can do now. I don't know if it's on purpose or if it's a bug, but there's a really specific situation where you could set up a Pikmin to be hooked below the ledge and still get a smash attack off. Oh, like, I've also seen like. Almar's pull a Pikmin on a platform, drop down and like smash attack, and then the Pikmin does a smash attack on top of the platform while they're on the ground too. Yeah, like even it's like little niche stuff like that. Yeah, like desyncing Pikmin, it's something that's so cool, but I can't, I honestly can't tell if it's intentional. But one thing that I think we all just learned is that Legs. White Pikmin does not proc substitute, and I think that's because he's too low. Well, it might be depending on where the Pikmin's latched, because he was latched onto the leg. Maybe, he was, like, beneath his foot. Right. Maybe the counter doesn't activate underneath his leg. Like, oh, wow. That's, that sucks. That's so, unfor <laughs> so much of this Damn. is just unfortunate. Like, not only did DeBuzz develop a perfect counterplay for fighting Venia in their second set of the night, but all of these little things are just coming together yeah. to add up beautifully for DeBuzz. And it's really making this 3-0 in the works. Like, that much harder to watch for Venia fans. Yeah, it's th this, is, this is a tough one. Oh, man, the solo purple. Jeez. If he he could have gotten another up air, but he messed up in back air there. Okay, wait. Venia getting something started here, but this just the buzz in the purple. Oh, and now it's two. It's just... It's such an uphill battle for Venia currently because he has to constantly throw himself at the buzz, figure out how to, to pierce through the wall of Pikmin, and the fact that the buzz is retreating. Meanwhile, DeBuzz is sitting really healthy on his second stock. Yeah, DeBuzz came out strong on this. Oh, and the snipe. He as came well. to kill. Yeah, you don't usually see DeBuzz like throw purples out like that unless he's just got a really big lead. Because it's, it's a pretty big resource if you miss. But really great stuff.